But first things first, before we do anything today, we gotta edit yesterday's video. So I got here last night, did my logbook. Well, first I parked and I pulled the brakes. And then I did my logbook. And I looked at my bed. And then I opened my eyes and it was morning. It just happens like that sometimes. So now we gotta edit yesterday's video yet. Top it is beautiful, fine, gorgeous, gloomy, rainy day, Diesel. Okay. It's a little bit gloomy outside. Uh, we're hanging out right here for the day. Uh, truck's just idling for a little bit now because I had it off all night with my fridge running and whatnot, so I'm just giving the batteries a little bit of a juicer. Uh, I'm pretty much letting my truck run to charge up my batteries a little bit, then I'll shut it off for the rest of the day again. Just to make sure that they don't die. I don't think they would die with my fridge. On. But you never know because when I'm in here, I use a lot of extra power, right? Sometimes I use my microwave. I'll have the computer on the whole time. I have my fridge obviously running the whole time. Radio on. I don't know. Just felt like doing that because I really don't want to also be stuck here with dead battery. That's one of my like fears. <laughs> Having to go like right now, I'll be like, all right, we need to go. And click, click. No battery power. Oh, that's one of my, my biggest fears. And I just woke up and I don't want to think about that today. So I just figured, yeah, I'll be safe. I'll just idle it for 10 minutes. Whatever. What do you think, Diesel? I think you're paranoid, man. There's nothing to worry about. Probably. I'm a little paranoid. I'm a little OCD in certain things and in other things. It's just... Like, I can live in a messy truck. I live with a dog. I've sort of given up living in that spotless, clean, brand new smelling truck. It's Diesel. As much as I love him, he just messes it up right away anyway, so... Okay, but we're, so we're sitting here for the day. And this is our goals for today. Number one. Clean the truck a little bit. Just a little bit. I want to vacuum, specifically. Number two. I want to do some laundry. I want to wash the towels on the floor. And I want to wash Diesel's blanket. Get Diesel's stuff clean. Number three. Was number three needs. Well, we're all caught up on the videos, so we don't need to do videos. What's number three? I'd like to go for a little bit of a run around the truck stop today. A little bit of a run. That's number three. Number four. Walk the weasel. Can't forget to walk the weasel. And that's our home for today. Fuel price is amazingly cheap down here. That's insane. What do you think of that, Diesel? Why is the fuel so cheap here? Probably because they don't have oodles of taxes to pay. Who's there? Who's there? What's going on, man? What's going on up here, man? With all the excitement about... Is there somebody in that truck over there? Dude. Dude. I'm standing right here. I think you did your job. You notified me that there's a stranger in that truck over there. Very good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Oh man, I couldn't get the camera out in time. He was just sitting there just growling. Like, I, don't, I don't sound like that, man. Yes, you do. <laughs> Is there anybody else out there, man? No, just the one guy. He's the one guy. Don't worry. I'll keep my eye on him, man. I'll keep my eyes on him. <laughs> He's so protective. When I'm not in the truck, he doesn't let anyone in the truck, apparently. I left him in the truck, and I took the truck to the shop, right, to get the air conditioning stuff fixed. He wouldn't let the mechanics in the truck unless I was in the truck with him. Diesel, what kind of mess did we get ourselves into here, mate? We found some nature. Sort of. <laughs> Maybe not. As close to nature as we're gonna get today. We're gonna go wandering up the hill here. 
we had to hide behind a bush because some other driver decided to take her dog slowly right past both of us. You know, Diesel, oh, these are thorns. We probably shouldn't go in here, Diesel. Let's go around the thorns. You know, Diesel doesn't do his thing if there's other dogs around or if he can see other dogs around, right? And that's why she went with her dog to that side of the truck stop. So I went with my dog to that side of the truck stop over there. What do you know? Diesel's around sniffing around. All of a sudden he starts going nuts. She decided to bring her dog all the way to that side of the truck stop for no reason. And then she went back over there to her truck. So I'm still here waiting for Diesel to do his stuff. He's still freaking out here. And he didn't all tangle up in his leash and stuff, but whatever. Not like I'm trying to be mean, but I'm trying to avoid the other dog so that Diesel will do his thing. And we'll say hi to him later. And don't tangle up in me again, Diesel. All right, so we're gonna go right down the path here. Don't step on any thorns, man. Don't want to be pulling thorns out of you today. What is this place? Diesel. Where did we find ourselves today, man? I don't know, man, but I don't know this place. He looks all scared. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what we do every time we got nothing else to do, right? We go and find some bush, some nature. This is just behind the truck stop. It looks sort of like we're in the middle of nowhere here. But as you can hear over there, that beautiful sound of the 18-wheelers going down the freeway back and forth. Shh, quiet, just, let's just listen for a bit. Of course, now there's no trucks. Wait for it. Wait for it. Whatever, fine, no trucks. Oh, I'm getting like tripped by all these weeds and stuff here. But yeah, so we sort of found this area back here. If you go over there yet, yeah, there's a, uh, that's the truck stop where we're staying at. And it's the Flying J. I always like to explore wherever I'm at. We're in Arkansas. Have I told you today where we're at? We're at the same place we went to bed at yesterday. Russellville, Arkansas. So everyone's got that Arkansas Southern drawl around here. And they all look at me like I talk funny. I don't talk funny, you talk funny. That's what I say. <laughs> Except I'm more used to hearing their Southern drawl because I watch a lot of TV and movies. Got my laundry bag here. So we got the video done. We got the laundry done. We're just going in to pick it up right now. It's probably done drying. It's like 225 a load for wash and then 225 to dry it. Good thing I hang dry most of my stuff, eh? But I figured I'd show you these machines in here are old. They're not usually this old, but I'll show you them anyways. Every flying day like this has a has a laundromat inside for the drivers, for us, for this very reason. So that when I have a day off, I can go in there and get everything cleaned up. My truck smells like laundry right now. So I have my pants that I don't dry hanging up there. Flying J. Literally a flying J. Look at this, they got a pool table and everything in here. Could use a few more games. It's kind of empty over here, man. What is this? Oh, Terminator. Terminator. I sort of want to play. Oh, it's a dollar. I'm totally going to play this. I have a dollar. Oh, I didn't bring my money in with me. Oh. Maybe later. Anything good to win in here? Nope. This is laundry room. Old machines. They're not usually this old. Oh, she's still going. Oh, she's not done yet. Okay. Guess we'll wander around some more. Smells good in here, doesn't it, Diesel? Yeah, your sniffer's really liking this. It smells like laundry. Laundry hanging here, hanging there, hanging here. Got to clean up up there, hanging over there. Look at that floor. Isn't it clean? Well, I guess I didn't show you it before, so you wouldn't know the difference. There's still a little bit of dirt on it, but you know, I picked up, you know, half a diesel off the floor with my handy dandy vacuum cleaner there. And I probably should have started from the top and worked my way down. That's what I usually do, but whatever. Still got a 
But all of this up here is all soft stuff, except for the dog food, but the dog food's, uh, dog food's pretty soft. This is all just clothes and pillows and stuff, and that water I just put up there now. I'm gonna clean up this bed here yet, and another hour and this truck will be spick and span. As spick and span as it's gonna get, I'll tell you what. Some of you might still be like, ew, it's dirty. Good thing you don't have to live in it. I do. <laughs> right, Jason? I don't know why, I, I, the mess doesn't bother me. That's the thing, I'll clean it up. Like when I have time, like today I have a full day off, I'll clean up the mess. I don't like it around, but it doesn't bother me. I don't know, if I didn't have a day off today, I would just live in the mess another day. I live with a dog, you can't, you can't be picky then. There's hair everywhere, all the time. Always hair, 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 hair. Diesel's in a shedding phase right now too. It's just like, you know what I mean? Shedding all over the That's you, man. That's you. Where'd you get that hair from, man? It just popped out of nowhere. Anyways, so I gotta groom him and plus he's going through a shedding phase. I don't know why, because winter's coming, man. You should hold on to your hair a little better. Jeez. He's too busy looking for squirrels out there. Oh, there's a dog way over there. Can see it. See that white shirt way by the bush there? He's got a little tiny fifth squeak of a dog. Diesel, do you see the dog? Oh, I sure do, man. He's got like scopes on his eyes. He can like zoom in or something. Check it out, guys. Twenty bucks. I got this George Foreman thing. Thing of a jigger thinger. Look, we're having chicken breast for dinner today and potato salad that's left over from Thanksgiving. What does that say? Well, it's a French side, that's why. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm actually pumped. So it's only 20 bucks. It uses 760 watts. Uh, I was gonna get the one up from it. It was a four serving, this is a two serving. Uh, the four serving was 40 bucks and it also had a griddle. It folded flat to have a griddle on it. This one doesn't do that, so I can't cook eggs. But like I was saying, the other one uses 1500 watts, this one only uses 760. So in the truck here, it works a little bit better with the inverter to have a little bit less water, but it seems to be cooking up nice. Oh yeah, look at that steam rise up. Mm. Diesel, what do you think of this? Well, you're not gonna give me any anyways, man, so I'm not gonna get excited. He knows. You want some chicken? You want some chicken? Don't tease me, man. Serious, man. Don't tease me. This is gonna be so good, man. So good. Do you see that? Oh, I see it, man. You see it? Look at me making dinner and stuff. Wow. Chicken breast and potato salad. No time to talk to you guys. I gotta eat. And that meal was so good, I forgot to film the end of day. Oh, that was good. I know it was kind of like a blah kind of day. I didn't really do much. It's uh, hard to do things at these truck stops because they, like I've said in past videos, they put them in places specifically away from anything interesting because nobody likes trucks around overnight, right? They don't want the exhaust fumes. They don't want the sound. Hand to hand, they don't want the litter. That's a big thing. So we end up having these truck stops like on the side of the freeway with not much around them. So you're pretty much stuck in your truck. I had to do laundry, uh, catch up on my videos, and uh, clean the truck anyway. So that took up the entire day pretty much. That's all I did yesterday. So yesterday, which was today for you, uh, didn't really get to do much, <laughs> as you can see. But tomorrow, which is today for me, we're headed over to uh, Beaufort, Georgia. So we're going through Mississippi, Alabama, up to Atlanta area there. And we're going to be unloading there tomorrow for me. I'm getting confused. I got a headache right now, so I've stopped for a nap. And I just finished up the video from yesterday and I realized, oh, there's no end of day. So here's your end of day, guys. There's that subscribe button up there if you haven't already hit that my videos will be delivered directly to your YouTube feed if you want a little bit more of a personal following of me you can follow me on Twitter you can try following me on Facebook my friends list is full but you can click the add friend button and you'll follow me it's sort of just like Twitter that way uh, and if you do that my videos get 
sent directly to your social medias and you don't miss a single episode. And then you don't tune in like three days later wondering, how did he get to Tennessee? Because you'll already know. You will have been able to follow my life every single day. I'll see you tomorrow, which is today for me, but tomorrow for you. I'll see you then, 4 a.m. Central.